Hello everyone, once again this is Noah with Save Green here and I wanted to compare the difference between Mint Mobile and Google Fi as far as their plans and their pricing and what they do because it's not all about the money if if you pay for a plan for example and your coverage is not so great so I'm going to address that now if you are in an area where T-Mobile has excellent coverage both where you live and where you work then Mint Mobile is for you because for what you're going to pay whether you go with 2 gigs, 5 gigs or 10 gigs of of data along with the talk and text you really can't get a better deal better bang for your buck now if you notice their their rates are structured so you have a three month plan and that's what you would pay both on the left side here you have your two gigs in the middle you have the middle plan which is five gigs and off to the right you have the 10 gig plan so it's 15 20 25 if you go with six months it's 18 24 30 now this is an intro offer you can see the orange triangle here so this is just to get you started and see if you like their plan after three months it's more than enough you you'll know if you like it. now you could have gone with a two gig plan and after three months realize that hey I need more, much more than two gigs I'm gonna move up to the next plan or even go with the 10 gig plan and then after you're done with the three months they'll give you an option you can go for six months which means you have to pay it all at once for instance if you go with the middle plan you gotta pay 24 times 6 right here 144 you gotta pay that up at once one credit card charge one credit card payment charge of 144 but notice if you go with a 12 month plan they save you about four bucks a month here may not seem like a lot but times times 12 months look at the difference Okay, now you're going to pay 240 split up over 12 months is only $20 a month versus 24. So you're going to be saving about $48, $48 a year going with this plan versus this one. It, it's good. It's 48 bucks. I mean, it's, it's like if you were getting two free months here. Same thing goes for the 10 gig plan, 300 bucks here for, for a whole year versus $180 for six months. Now, here's the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, Mint Mobile is going to give you great uh, bang for your buck. So you're going to get a great value for it here. Google Fi, let's say if you went with a 2 gigabyte per month plan, they're charging you 20 bucks for unlimited calls and texts. For each gig, they're charging you $10. So 2 gigs will be $20. But what if you don't use the 2 gigs? Okay, and that, let's compare that to here. So let's say you don't use the, the full two gigs. Let's say you use one gig, and, and you can see here it'll be 40 bucks. So obviously it's a lot more here than what you would pay here, okay, for a year. But let's say you don't use the two gigs. Let's say you use one gig, 1.3 gigs, okay? One, one gig plus 300 megabytes is only 13 bucks. So now your bill will be $33. So who might this work for over Mint Mobile. There's different scenarios here. The first scenario I will point out is Google Fi, and I went over this in another Google Fi video, uh, I believe where I compared it against Consumer Cellular. They use T-Mobile's towers, they use Sprint's towers, US Cellular's towers, so they're using both CDMA and GSM networks. So you are gonna get a better coverage with Google Fi than you would with Mint Mobile, who's using only T-Mobile's uh, towers. So if you work in one area and live in another, you have good reception in one place but bad in the other, Google Fi might be the better option for you, even though you're going to pay a little bit more. But a lot of people keep telling me this: you you pay what you get, what you pay for, and not that Mint Mobile is bad necessarily, but Google Fi will give you much better coverage because they're using more antennas they're using towers both from sprint t-mobile and u.s cellular and both u.s cellular and sprint will roam to verizon so you're kind of using verizon there as well another 
uh, area where Google Fi might be better for you over Mint Mobile is when it comes to being a mega gigabyte user. They don't have anything more than 10 gigs. And after 10 gigs, they don't shut you down, but they, sh they slow you down dramatically. So your speeds are going to be really slow after you go over 10 gigs of data. If you have Wi-Fi at home, there's a possibility you'll never go over this unless you're just like all day streaming music and videos and you just don't put your phone down for anything. You're, you're, you live on your phone. Then you might just eat this up in no time. With Google Fi, and then folks, this is where it, it's back to you get what you pay for. Google Fi, look at this, what starts happening. Your bill will just start going up. Now, after you go over six gigs, okay, there's my six sixty dollars, so ten dollars per gig, and your plus your twenty for unlimited calls and texts, you're at eighty. But notice what happens off here to the right. It stops at eighty. So data is free after six gigabytes with bill protection. So you're gonna have unlimited data, okay? And, and you're not going to get charged for it. So the worst it can get here is 80 bucks. With Mint, you either be at 25 or 30, but you don't have any other options after 10 gigs. If you're a big data user after 10 gigs, that's it. You got to rely on Wi-Fi only for the rest of your bill cycle. Whereas with Google Fi, after you hit 80 bucks, that's it. You're not going to be slowed down or anything. They're just going to continue. Uh, they'll just stop you at 60 and that's what they call their bill protection okay so Google Fi is kind of thinking outside of the box they're using different providers antenna signals just like Mint Mobile is using T-Mobile's antenna signal Google Fi is also using T-Mobile plus Sprint plus US Cellular so you get a little bit more coverage and so those are the two people that might want to go with Google Fi over Mint Mobile Google Fi will give you more coverage if you are in an area where T-Mobile might not be so good or it's good where you live but not where you work, then Google Fi will be an option for you. And you're, the, the best data plan here is 10 gigs. That's it. They don't have anything better than that. Whereas Google Fi will let you use as much data as you want. You're going to have to pay for it, okay? But you use... you. you you can still use internet. They won't uh, slow you down drastically. I mean, the speeds here are really slow after you go over your data cap on any one of these plans, mind you. So that's why I always say, try it out for three months, monitor your data, there's ways to do that on your phone, and then see what if you started with this plan, you might wanna jump on this plan after that. Or if you're on this plan and you're, you know you went over five gigs, jump on this plan. And folks, if you start on the 10 gigabyte plan for three months and you see that you were eating this up in no time and your three months are up, then you might want to go ahead and try Google Fi because you know you're not going to have the slowdowns after 10 gigs. You're just you're going to have the same 4G LTE speeds no matter how much data you use. Other companies like AT&T, Verizon, uh, they, they, they really all of them are all of them differ in how much. You know, they say, quote, unquote, wink, wink, that it's unlimited, but they do slow you down, and you'll see that on the fine print. I mean, you have to read your fine print to know it. But with uh, Google Fi, you're actually, again, you're going to pay for it, but you're going to have the ability to use it. So I just wanted to do a, a comparison between Mint Mobile and Google Fi. When it comes to pricing, there really is no comparison because Mint Mobile gives you the better bang for your buck. When it comes to coverage and how much data you can use, Google Fi is the better option. Again, you do have to pay for it. Nothing is for free. So keep that in mind when it's time to change from your current provider, where you're, whether you are on AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, whoever you're on, if you're under contract and you're kind of looking out there, seeing if the grass is greener on the other side, it is. You just have to read the fine print. So here that you're seeing it right there in front of you on your current contract or whoever you decide to go with after that or even renew your contract, you have to look at the fine print because they do slow you down. They do throttle you down. I don't know how many of the providers out there are still actually shutting off your internet altogether. I think Verizon does. I'm not sure. But you want to read the fine print. 
Again, you always want to inform yourself as much as possible. It's your money. You do want to protect it as much as possible. But thank you once again for watching. This is Noah with Save Green here. You all have a fantastic day and have a fantastic weekend. Take care.